Uh, okay, let me just tell you guys. I was a chubby kid, always made fun of. I was scared of everything. I was a crybaby. I was too comfortable, ate a lot, all that. I wanted to be like Goku. And I think somewhere along the line of like my childhood, I understood that I wanted to pursue the life of a warrior. But my kid self would be so happy right now if he saw me, if he saw who he ended up to be. Me being proficient at fighting, having a good physique, not only being strong, but being well educated on certain topics, having a YouTube channel. As a kid, right? The lights used to get caught off. I had to use a candle. You know, the internet, the cable would get caught off. My cousin used to have Xboxes and Game Boys and DSs and all that stuff like that. You know what I had? And I think I mentioned this in a video. I'd watch Avatar The Last Airbender. I'd watch TV and I'd act literally sitting like this imaginary remote. I was not, nah, yeah, beat him up, Aang. Like I was literally on that. You know, we couldn't afford a console. Now I got an Xbox. Now I got a laptop. Little things like that that you don't truly, you take for granted. Now I have, I have some cats, you know what I'm saying? If I was kid me, I'd be so stoked. I'd be like, what, you got this? You got that? Damn, you look like this? And so moral of the story, I'm over here ranting, but sometimes it's nice and what my friend would say, stop and smell the flowers. You're just taking it for granted. You just haven't realized it because you're always focused on the next thing. You take that journey upon that mountain, dangerous, high, scary mountain to create a story for yourself, to prove to yourself, but to others, right? You embark on this journey up the mountain. You're already almost done and you're thinking of the next mountain. You're criticizing how you climbed that mountain, but you don't truly turn around and enjoy how beautiful that view is, how far you've actually got up that mountain. And that just a little while ago, regardless of the pain and the stuff that you've been through, you were at the bottom. I'm just trying to get at that. It's good to be hungry. It's good to want to be the best, to go after certain things, even to enjoy yourself, treat yourself, to go after possessions. Don't let those possessions possess you. Don't let these things become part of your life and like determine how you move and then you're just blinded to everything else you have tunnel vision it's good to have tunnel vision towards a goal but once you get there appreciate it and move on because even even with that right there's things that you can use as motivation to keep you not only inspired and to keep going but to also appreciate how far you've come and it's things like that i've mentioned before of like where you've come from your childhood what you've been through these things can truly inspire you can truly push you to go one more when you need it as well as like damn but look how far I've come. You know, some people say like, bring back bullying, ha ha ha. What, what I will say is this, even though I was that chubby kid, like I got made fun of, I was scared of everything, scaredy cat, all that stuff. It took me having to know the pain of being those things for me to become who I am now. And to understand that like, okay, I will not allow myself to be fat again. Okay, I'm gonna face my fears every opportunity I get because I don't wanna be labeled as a coward. And it's not even like me thinking about what other people think, but it's just to myself. I know what I was before. I don't want to be that because I'm me now. I know what it feels like for the lights to be cut off, to be homeless. And that's no shot to my mom because, you know, she tried her best, but she was alone and she had four kids. But I was the only one with her and I was the oldest. You know what I'm saying? So I had adult worries and I'm seven, eight, nine, ten. I know how that feels. So do you think I'd put my kids in that situation? No, I'm hungry. Now I know I got to get after it so that they'll never ever even think about being, not even the grandkids will even be put in that situation. Wanting more, but being grateful and realizing how far you've come and using that as fuel. You are currently where you prayed to be and you've forgotten. Sometimes take a moment to sit back and smell the flowers. Don't let your weaknesses define you. Don't let your unfortunate times define you. Okay, I had depression. Oh, I, I, I used to be poor. Oh, this. Don't blame your circumstances and, and your life on the reason why you can't be where you're at, why you can't get what you want. Use it to fuel you. I want, I want you to think about this. Just because you have a certain situation holding you back, certain situation that think about the biggest goal and just think about how greater the story would be. Okay, I got a PhD and something that's useful. But they said I had ADHD. They said I was going to fail. They said I was going to be nobody. Okay, I ran this marathon with a twisted ankle and I got first place. And what? I'm that guy. Don't use these excuses but if you want to be great push yourself because it's going to motivate other people that are in that situation and that's what i'm trying to get at is that just know that it will make for a greater story and that's what separates good from great and the final thing i'm going to leave you with is a quote from lil wayne and he says be more than what you see in the mirror let the world be your mirror because they can't judge you the mirror can't judge you only you can judge you and that's it man my love like subscribe all that crazy stuff engage with the video show me all the love you know what i'm saying if you got something from this video if it's not do whatever you want anyways my love Peace.